Hello, Familia. Welcome back to LLVT. You got Christina here. And we just landed in Samar, Tukloban Airport, I believe is where we were. Um, it's dark, so it's nighttime. But before we, I guess, start this vlog of our time visiting this province, I have to show you this room that we got here at XYZ Hotel. All right, so this is the view that you get right when you walk in. So we have this beautiful little couch area, uh, sitting space for us, these two twin beds, TV, air con, a nice bathroom, walk-in, shower, separate toilet. And there's a little mini fridge right here. We've got stuff for coffee, water. And there's an upstairs, boo-boo. I haven't the had biggest hotel room we've ever had. I haven't had I agree. I haven't had two TVs in such a long time. So let's go up. Two TVs. So there's this awesome little desk space. There's actually another closet right there. Wait, what? And this leads over to my bed. Your our bed. bed. Our my bed. bed. No, our you guys bed. sleep downstairs with Daddy. No, no, no Phoenix is gonna sleep. <laughs> I want to say it's a queen size bed. I'm sure you got a separate TV. I haven't even gotten a chance to look outside. No. But you know what? Let's save that for the morning. What do you think? Now, aside from this fantastic room that we have here. I am really excited because this is our first trip here in the Philippines with friends. We're about to see them for some dinner, maybe? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Samar. We're definitely not in VGC anymore. Um, we need to get downstairs in about 15, 20 minutes. We've got to get ready, so I need to go wake up the boys. Good morning. Good morning. There is a bakery right next to the hotel. Rowan, you want to go check it out? Get some pan de sal? Yes. Ooh, let's go. Some bibinca, little puto, butter bread. What else? Some crinkle cookies. Three crinkle cookies for me. Okay. Six crinkle cookies, one ensamada. The pan de sal is back there. You don't want any pan de sal? Actually, no. Well, well let's get 12. No, go about 12 pan de sal. Thank you so much, Ate. Salama po. Ensamada breakfast. Sweet and salty and one fluffy bread. There's a bit of cheese on this. And there's like, there's sugar sprinkled on it. We just stopped at the Agas Agas Bridge. So we were kind of driving over the bridge and we saw this amazing space that would be really cool to fly the drone, but perhaps Jack will fly the drone. Woo, there it goes. There's a zip line somewhere over here. We're practicing our dialects. What, what is the word we learned today, Yana? Mabasai, what I word for beautiful. We just snapped a quick photo with these awesome guys over here. Thank you so much. Thank you for your service and your time. That was a really amazing experience being out there on the bridge. We got to take some cool photos. The boy is back there eating a lotteries, I think is what it's called. It's this little fruit that we found over here on this tree. We've been trying to get this fruit um, for the longest time. I think we've picked it twice and we either lose the berry or I smash the berry. The one thing I love about this is we can literally walk around out here and we can pick a fruit off of a tree and we're not worried about it being covered in like pesticides or anything like that. So really the kids just kind of can eat them. It's pretty awesome. No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's it, actually pretty good. Was it sour or was it sweet? Sour. It was sour. Yours was sour. We are officially in the town of Bato. Our next stop is here. We're actually going to have lunch here and then we're going off to another place. But look at how cool this like little market area is that we're in right now. Um, I love how it's so wide and open, but there's still all these little stalls that you can stop at. They've got these ones here where you can just buy some like pasalubong and 
uh, cooking supplies. There's a bake shop, a pharmacy. It's pretty amazing. I love it. So it's fabulous to be able to see these kinds of things and to show it to the boys too. We've also made a game out of counting how many Krispy Kings we are seeing as we're driving along the road. So this one right here is number six so far. Uh, and there's another one right around the corner. They're like Starbucks over here. It's everywhere. So we just stopped at this little restaurant called um, Mang Lumai. And we are about to eat some Sinigang Nakipon. So that's Sinigang with shrimp. And of course, Rowan's already served himself. Sinigang with shrimp, veggies, and broth. It's just so nice to eat a, like a warm soup on a hot day. It just feels right to me. But the broth is slightly sour. There's like a sort of um, gingery component to it. It's really good. And those veggies mixed with the shrimp together combos perfectly. So good. I think that was taro I just ate. It was like a little white one or a radish of some kind. A lot of times it's, it's either too soft or too hard, but it was the perfect consistency right now. There's plenty of spinach in it, which I feel like I've been needing. I feel like my iron's been a little off lately, so. This is a bangus with some gravy and looks like some garlic, calamansi. Oh, wow, that is really good. I've never had bangus with gravy on it like that before. That's delicious. There's cats and dogs and little baby chickies. Can't wait to have like a farm with some chickens and some goats, maybe a cat. Let's go see what they're doing over here in this workshop. I think he's polishing up those coconut huts. They're doing some really cool woodworking in this shop over here. I'm really excited to be tagging along with Diana and Jack on this little project that they're working on. Um, they're just seeing some really cool local artisans, so definitely Get subscribed to their vlog and you can see some of the stuff that they're doing, um, what they're working on, and I'm sure Diana will share with her audience very soon um, more information on these special projects that she's been taking on. This is the stuff the babysitter gets to deal with all day. I just learned a new word today. Maupai. Maupai, huh, Roro? -ro? Maupai. We are actually just about ready to check out. We just came down to the desk. But before we do, I do kind of want to run through this hotel really quick and share some of the incredible features about this place. So it's kind of funny because um, I posted in our YouTube community page, uh, I want to say it was yesterday, um, just a quick photo of us being here. And one of our followers actually recognized that we were here at XYZ Hotel. And they said to come and check out Q Kitchen, which we did. And it's, again, absolutely amazing. All the food here has just been incredible. A great meal has a way of elevating a hotel experience from conventional to extraordinary. Each restaurant here serves up a symphony of flavors, from traditional Filipino favorites served at Q Kitchen to succulent seafood selections served on the hotel rooftop along with the most tender, juicy steaks and artfully crafted cocktails found at Fizz Gastro Pub, located on the ninth floor. Now the hotel itself is actually situated right here on this very, very busy street, but you hardly even notice as soon as you walk in. I would say the only noise that we heard was at night, we could hear the music coming from uh, one of the restaurants upstairs, but it didn't bother me at all. It was just a fantastic stay, clean, friendly, Staff. The staff has been amazing, so incredibly attentive on top of things all the time. So I would actually highly recommend this hotel. Rara, let me see what you got. A little bit of ice cream for it to go, gelato. Yeah. What flavor did you get? Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. We just made a quick stop right here. So apparently this place was actually built by the Marcoses. We are in the part of the country where Imelda Marcos is actually from. Her maiden name is Romualdez. I hope I said that right. But we did just take this quick stop here. Look at there's Santo Nino in there. Going back to my, my tita duties for just a moment, right? Jump, yes, good job. This is pretty awesome, huh? You hear a chicken? 
I don't know the name of this neighborhood that we are in right now, but this is something yeah. I have definitely been wanting to do, to be able to come and see. Oh, let's move out of the way. He's riding his motorcycle. Say hello, Kuya. Hi. <laughs> so we just stopped out here in this neighborhood. Diana's meeting with one of these artisans here. And me and the boys are just going for a little walk. Kuya stayed in the van. He's sleepy, huh? What do you think, Phoenix? No. There's peoples there, yes. The kids are going to school, huh? When I see neighborhoods like this, it really reinforces to me the perseverance of the Filipino people. And what I mean by that is this area was hit really, really hard by Typhoon Yolanda about a decade ago. It's gonna be almost 10 years, um, actually this year. And the storm surge was so massive and just the damage to this city and the island of Leyte in general was just catastrophic. Um, but so many people have found a way to continue to rebuild, to live their lives. Um, they've been through a global pandemic, but the way I see it, it's, it's they do what they have to do. They do what they need to do to get by, to live their daily lives. And so it's just absolutely incredible. I have so much respect for it. I'm rambling again. We are out here at the Tacloban City Convention Center, which just so happened to be an evacuation center when Super Typhoon Yolanda came through. The storm surge actually reached through this convention center. Many, many lives were still lost, um, you know, when that storm surge came through because people thought they were safe here, but they ended up not being as safe as they thought. Mental health awareness is incredibly important to me as someone who suffers from both anxiety and depression. It has been acknowledged, the super typhoon itself, as sort of a trauma milestone for mental health awareness in the Philippines. Whereas previously, people saw seeking counseling as a sign of weakness. Um, but in reality, when that typhoon came through and so many people were displaced, uh, separated from their families, um, you know, they lost family members it really gave more of a context to mental health awareness because mental health is affected by the extraordinary circumstances that people have to overcome or live through or see within their lives. I think it's super important to make sure that we acknowledge that mental health awareness and how important it is and that it's okay to seek help whenever you need it. Another something new I'm learning is the one town, one product idea is really cool because it brings out local artisans and it shares the products that they have um, with tourism. And so you get to come through and pick up some pasalubong or things to take back home and even support a lot of the local artisans within the area that you're visiting. <gasps> Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she needs the Union Jack. <laughs> Look yeah. at it! I love this one. I saw this design earlier. It's one of my favorites. All right, we found a case and eat snack right here. Binagol. We're gonna have to get some of this. And since it has become somewhat of a tradition now for us to get pasalubong snacks to take home and then case and eats them later on for some case and eats, I'm definitely gonna pick up a few things while we're here. Rowan, come here. Oh, it fits me perfect. look at you. It doesn't fit you perfect, but look at you. Wow, you're so handsome. Try it on Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Oftentimes, I really find myself struggling with trying to figure out what to say. And I think so much of that is really because I stand here so often whenever we go to places like this, and I just soak in like the moments that I have here. I just find myself so caught up in the beauty and the wonder and the just overwhelming gratitude that I have for being able to travel and do the things that we do and see the things that we see. And to be able to share that with our viewers all around the world is just so unbelievable. So. I don't know if I say it enough, but I want you all to know that I really, truly appreciate all of the support, all of the positive comments, all of the love that you all share for us. Um, and I'm really looking forward to continuing this vlog and this journey um, and sharing it with all of you. 
So they have this memorial site here for all the people who lost their lives. There were more than 6,000 lives lost as a result of that super typhoon. Our final stop before we head to the airport is a General MacArthur Memorial out here in Leyte. Let's go check it out. Leyte is also known as the site of the largest naval battle in modern history. Um, the Battle of Leyte Gulf took place here during World War II. And this place right here is the MacArthur Landing Memorial. It was built to commemorate Douglas MacArthur's fulfillment of his promise to return to the Philippines. And this is where he landed. It's crazy, right? I was actually really, really fortunate enough to um, be able to take a tour of the Douglas MacArthur suite recently at the Manila Hotel. Um, and it's kind of cool to just like be here in this same space. It's weird that I've now kind of been in two places where his footsteps were. So a little iconic, ironic, really cool. Really, really cool. All right, I think with that, this is a good spot to say thank you so much for watching. As always, remember to like, follow, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know where you want us to go next. And thanks, Diana, for inviting us along thank on your you trip to Thank you so Leite. much for coming with me. It's make sure you pleasure. follow her vlog, too. We'll make sure yes. to link it down below for the rest of you all. Mami Anna, yeah. check Mami me Anna. out. All y'all and family. <laughs> Salamat. And got till next time. He's gone crazy. He's trying to kill. He's out for blood. No, I'm not. No, Casey. <laughs> Give me your moosey sounds. Hello, Phoenix. Hello. All of this looks so beautiful. Don't you agree, Miss Yana? Wow. Look at everything's like so nice. Phoenix, look, there's a big playground. Wow. You want to go there? Yeah. Phoenix. Come on. It's just only walking from here. If you're wondering why I'm, why I'm waving headphones, because I want to cancel out all noise. Day two hours of long misery. It's finally done. It's time to boy. Also, check out my new hat. You gonna let me change your nappy? He's a <laughs> my chair. Yep, that's your chair right there. Dizzy. You're dizzy now, dizzy. running in circles. Dizzy. Step back from monkeys and snakes. Yes, well, there's two monkeys right there. Say thank you, salamat. Salamat po, ingat. <laughs> Happy birthday.